see how he's rolling up on his shoulders? See how he's slapping. This is a really important thing to do. Did you see how he's slapping? What he's doing, when he slaps the mat, he's dissipating shock away from the body. No matter if you're slapping with one hand or two hands, what you want to do is just like a belly flop in the water. You want the, you want the pressure, you want the waves to go out. Your body doesn't want to take the force of the fall. You want to spread that, that ballistic energy out away from you, that kinetic energy out away from you. So that's what's happening here. Can you lay on your side, Josh, and show us the basic way of landing if I'm throwing you? So lay on your left side. Okay, now let's take a look at some things here, okay? Now, when Josh, again, the important thing of landing, when he's in a landing position, Let's look. His head is, of course, tucked. You never want to let your head hit the mat. Protect your head at all times. Let's look. When he slaps the mat, okay, his hand is about a hand length from his leg here. Okay? His fingers are closed. Thumb in. Don't land like this. Lay with your fingers together. His right hand is a bit out of the way, just at the chest, tucked here. His right knee is bent, and his foot's on the mat. His left leg is slightly flexed, and slightly bent, I should say, and it's, it's resting on the mat. Okay, so that's the landing position. That's the basic landing position on the side of the body. Okay, so that's very important. Now, a drill to develop that. Josh, you can move your feet just a bit. Okay. Now, a drill to do this, and I think it is a good drill for all beginners especially, but it's a good warm-up drill if you want to practice your ukemi before practice, is he's going to go back and forth, and watch when he rocks, his feet will go up in the air, and his, his hands will you know, his, his upper body will slap the mat. So do a few, Josh, and I'll have you stop in a second. So just on the side, and back and forth. See the drill he's doing here? Now, could I have you turn around your head? Just turn around so you can, so the camera can see another point of view. Okay, see how he's rolling up on his shoulders? See how he's slapping? This is a really important thing to do. Did you see how he's slapping? What he's doing when he slaps the mat, He's dissipating shock away from the body. No matter if you're slapping with one hand or two hands, what you want to do is just like a belly flop in the water. You want the, you want the pressure, you want the waves to go out. Your body doesn't want to take the force of the fall. You want to spread that, that ballistic energy out away from you, that kinetic energy out away from you. So that's what's happening here. So when he lands. Okay, here's where we practice the landing on the side. Okay, so you're going to let us hand fall this side. Okay, he's going to have his right hand here at the chest. Notice his feet out. His left arm is up. And what he's going to do, he's going to roll. He's going to land on his left side. Look how he lands. He always wants to practice good landing posture position here. His knees up, legs here. Don't let your legs cross or get crunched together. Some people, if they just let their legs hit, I mean, that hurts. You know, you can hurt yourself. So remember, when you land, you want to land. You don't want to land with your legs crossed. Land with this position here, it's really important. You know, again, what's the most important part of getting an airplane? Landing safely. Same here.